Hello, my name is Garx82 and welcome back to our Edimatica 2 Expert Mode series. Just crafting up a couple things here we will need going forward. And one is finally got the compactor and the gear working die, the augment. I do need a... I think I have any more... No. I don't have any upgrade kits. A upgrade kit so we can put the the thing in. Luckily, not too difficult to get, and they'll get easier as we get more recipes in. But uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to not having to do the gears in the metal press. I walk over here, flip out the gear, throw them on there. It's kind of annoying. So we will not have to do that soon. Right, there we go. Harden upgrade kit. There. So we don't know. I haven't looked. There is. Yeah, there is that. Arboreal extractor is that? I actually don't know what that's for. Or that. Or that. <laughs> it's kind of weird that they're locked behind this. What is? This? I'm getting distracted here. But what is that? Something with trees, obviously. Extracts fluid from a tree. All right, good to know. I'm sure we will need it at some point. But uh, let's go ahead and throw this down. I'm gonna move that. I believe. Hector. Obviously, the ones next to it have signalum, but I didn't. Uh, I got those from a a loot chest, so I didn't have to do anything with that. Um, I think we probably yeah probably need to do it that way. And the back, we'll do input and output. Yep. Should, should I, it looks like I have room for one more on there, but uh, I'm gonna do just a couple. We always seem to have bronze, copper, iron. I like the main ones that I seem to have a lot of. So I'm going to throw those in there for now, and then uh, I will, of course, add more as needed down there and that in there. I know it doesn't have power, but we're not using it at the moment. All right. Uh, last episode, we also got the thermal evaporation controller. Um, I just did a very basic one, not even the fastest one we could do. And uh, yeah, I'm already full on brine. Uh, not not a problem, really. It's uh, it, We got it pretty quick. I didn't even have it running that long. So uh, yeah, there is that. Now I need... Yeah, I'm getting pretty close to needing to redesign our base here. <laughs> That's for sure. Yes, you know what? We could even. I could put this right next to it. That's. I'm going to need one more. I could. Get out. Have this. I don't need that. Uh, 
Yeah, that works, I think. Yeah, at least for the time being. Alright, question is, are we going to be able to <laughs> figure out what side is which? Probably not. Really. Let's see. The This will go... I think the left and the right. Yeah, so that... Yeah, I think the right is the right. So we need this now. I'll try that. Don't, I'm assuming the front would be that side to that side. I don't know. We will we'll give it a go and see what happens here. We both should have power. Yep. If we put that in there. Sodium, chlorine, chlorine should be going in there. Yes. All right. No, not all right. There's no auto output. <laughs> right? Yeah, this doesn't have an auto output. No! All right, I gotta move it over. That's a bit awkward because... We don't, um, actually, they keep fluids. That's right. Pretty sure mechanism machines keep fluids if you break them. And we'll find out if I was wrong. I kind of don't like having that there. I don't know why I'm like worrying about that when this already looks terrible. <laughs> right, and then conduit, I guess. No, I don't have conduit. What am I? Pipe, tube, tube. What's the one for? It is pipe, isn't it? Do I not have... I feel like I have them somewhere. I used them all. Maybe I have. I thought I had... I feel like I haven't used them all. Maybe I'm just blind. I do like the pipes, though. Thankfully, it's actually not that difficult to make, although I'm using the bucket, which I don't really want to use my bucket. I'm actually going to need a bucket. The bucket is... It's three plates in the... Yeah. I feel like every single mod pack I play, the bucket is a different recipe. <laughs> but it does look like it is just a regular one in there. Yeah, whoops, I accidentally closed Minecraft there. <laughs> I accidentally uh, hit the X. Accidentally enclosed Minecraft. Um, so there we go. Mechanical pipes. And there we go. All right, there is that. And then I just need rest. Can I just... Yeah, it's totally manual at the moment, which is... Not ideal, but um, I'm just doing just to get it going. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, gives us two. Do we need? I think we need. Ooh, 
All right, we're gonna need more than that. Uh, let's just get this running, and then I will craft up the rest. I sh maybe I should. Why am I doing it this way? Why don't I just use a, a thing? Because I, mm, I don't know. I, I know it's hard to, well, this doesn't even matter. This is like brine. This stuff is super easy to get. I don't know why I'm like scrutinizing it so much. Let's just grab that and then do that. Yeah, I don't know why I was like overthinking that. If this is, like if this, we need to put something else in here, we could just break it and put something else in there. It doesn't need to be... Like I said, it's super easy to get. Alright, so that will... I think that is everything, right? So there's our carbon. I have eight carbon plates. What was it? What's the ratio? Two. Two, one, and four. So I need... 32 salt, is that right? I think that's right. Yeah. One, two, that is it. So, let's see. I find this so weird, fluid input item output and then like why isn't uh, i guess because this is the front i did put it backwards usually yeah the power is on the back but i feel like the input hatch input hatch there item input hatch there kind of thing and then maybe the output on the back i don't know we shall see oh there we go it it did something it did it worked i think it did two of them No, I think it only did one of them, right? Oh, it did. We did uh, two. And that actually tore through that brine. That was pretty quick. Yeah, as we can see. I mean, I'm barely even... I could even make this much bigger, and we're already, like, producing quite a bit. Um, probably going to have to... I don't know sodium i don't think we need to worry about sodium at the moment yeah we're not getting there yet i think we'll just we'll avoid the sodium and not worry about that at the moment all right but there we go there is titanium our first titanium and we are going to use that to get this titanium aluminide yeah titanium aluminide so we're gonna do alloy furnace electric arc furnace l force it's exactly the same so there's really no point to craft up the electric arc furnace that's good to know um yeah i think that uh the alloy thing is the best way to do it so what was it three Three and seven, so I need, I need quite a bit of aluminum for this. I guess, why don't we make a recipe for that? Yeah, I guess we should make a recipe. Yeah, we'll do that. I am running out of. Oh, no, that's right. We put that down last episode. So we have a whole bunch of what we have eight more. And then I guess we could do. Yeah, let's just do that as well while we're here. Compactor. All right. Does that bug anyone else that these all look exactly the same? And then this one's like a different texture. Because that bugs me. But uh, I think... I think we're good, right? 
Just make sure everything turns on. There we go, titanium alamide. I feel like there may be somewhere something. No, I don't. No, that's not a quest to, to hold those ingots or anything. All right, there we go. There is the titanium alamide, and there we go. There is our first Ender IO thing. <laughs> what a journey that was to unlock Ender IO. And that's 30 levels. Better not. Shouldn't. Hopefully, we don't die. I should craft up the uh, experience obelisk. That's good to have anyway. Yeah, normal recipe. Although, no, we have a. We can get this stuff relatively easy. Yeah, we're in the nether. That is not an issue. Yeah, I should craft that up. Yeah, not a problem. Just a the the regular recipe. But uh, yeah, there we go. There is Ender IO lock unlocked. Let's see what is this? I was like, I thought it wanted us to choose for a second. I'm like, I wonder which one I'm going to do. All right. First question here is, please tell me I can replicate this. No, there is no replication recipe for the simple machine chassis. Hmm. All right. I was really hoping there would be. What is the... Thermal Ender I.O. I wonder if, like, maybe... Oh, man, this thing. Ender I.O. is not messing around, that's for sure. With some of these recipes. But we could get the Nanali Smelter. But a lot of the stuff we are doing... Um, I'm just doing it in the other one. The one... Nice thing about the alloy smelter recipe is that it has three inputs as opposed to two. No, not that one. That's actually a pretty, actually a pretty easy recipe. Well, other than <laughs> the chassis. Um, no, I want to. It doesn't tell me to get the alloy smelter. That's not even like a thing. Oh, there it is. There's the uh, the more advanced one, though. Does that require? Oh, it doesn't. That does not require a simple alloy smelter. I may just hold off on that then. Uh, the one kind of bonus is you can do like vibrant alloy. That that no, yeah. So like energetic alloy, you can do redstone, glowstone, and gold in the alloy smelter. Whereas if I do that in there, I have to do the energetic blend first and then do this. So it kind of cuts a recipe out. But um, same with enderium. We do. Uh, we have to fluid infuse the lead platinum alloy with a ender pearl. But if we do it in the alloy smelter, we can just do it like that. So I don't know. Um, I, it's not super necessary, I don't think. I may just wait. Oh, there is the uh, experience obelisk. I don't know. It could unlock. Well, there is a basic bester. I don't know if I ever held. I did. Yeah, we're missing some stuff. Uh, and I don't. I'll do that in a. S well, we have two that we unlocked. Now it wants sterling combustion. Eh, I don't know if we'll do that. Um, all right. Let me. Let me think about. Now that I got that unlocked, we have one more, I think, right? Any more? Ah, right. Draconic core. We don't have draconium. We don't have plutonium. 
We don't have a loot plating. We don't have a dislocator. We don't have any of that. But I th think advanced. Yeah, we could probably. Ooh, we're going to need crystal binder. All right. I know we're going to need a rock crusher. Just looking at that recipe, I know we're going to need a rock crusher. Yeah, I'm going to take that off. You got that. Rock crusher, anything super crazy. Uranium, sulfur, advanced plating. Don't have any of that stuff. So, yeah, let me uh, figure out what I want to do. Oh, we finally got that. And... Uh, yeah, we'll come back. All right, we are back. And funny enough, the most annoying part was getting the sulfur that we needed um, because I had no gunpowder to extract. And um, yeah, I had like no blaze rods. Um, so <laughs> that was a bit annoying. Uh, I ended up, I guess I could have thrown coal in there. There's a few things we could have done. But uh, I ended up just extracting some gunpowder um, and actually created gunpowder with, I had three sulfur, so I made some gunpowder. One sulfur gave us four, and then I extracted it for sulfur. So, yeah, that's kind of how I got that. That was the most annoying part. Everything else is, we got everything. I did add a few more recipes and some more alloys. And we're just kind of automating as much as possible here. So there is the gun crusher, uh, the rock crush crusher. I saw a gun down here. That's why I said <laughs> gun, the rock crusher. And um, I'm going to get that going because I know we're going to need it just um, from seeing the recipe for this, this crystal binder. Now, the crystal binder is going to be kind of annoying and... I am wondering, is this, is that going to be able to be scanned? I really hope so, because I don't want to have to, I don't want to have to make those a lot, because, well, I'll get into it in a second. Um, we should have, I did, yeah, 17 granite over here. Granite. Granite. That. Oh. I think that that's running. I think. Um, it could. I'm sure it's being like <laughs> blocked. Uh, back not um bottlenecked by those cables. But uh, yeah. So basically, we're just gonna throw the granite in the rock crusher. And the rock crusher. I don't know if you throw different. Um, materials in diorite and a site you get different different things so we're doing the granite there's a whole bunch of different things you can throw in there a lot of the stuff from the twilight forest i'm noticing but uh yeah we need rotocrosite is what we are for and we actually also get sulfur from that let's just Speed that up a little bit. Now, this um, crystal binder. I'm going to have to do a bit of chemistry for this. Magnesium, not a problem. Pulverized, not obsidian. Uh, pulverized obsidian, not a problem. Now that's not a problem. I wonder if we can actually... No, I can't. doesn't look like I can duplicate it in any way. We can also get it through rubies, but uh, it's easy enough. Granite is super easy. Granite's easier to get than rubies, and we get other stuff with it. Now, I don't know. Yeah, we have a room. I'll throw it in there. Yeah, so that stuff's easy enough, and we really only need... Oh, we need 16. 16 for that. So we're going to need eight calcium sulfates. Now, calcium sulfate, as we can see, is not the easiest thing in the world. We need a crystallizer, and we need chemical reactors. Now, fluorite, 
should be easy enough to get now that we have the rock crusher. Let me throw that over there. Rock crusher, we just need to put diorite in there and we'll get that. Should be getting, yeah, diorite from this. That should be enough diorite. The calcium sulfate thing is the annoying, or the other part is, fluorite's easy, sulfuric acid. To get sulfuric acid, we're going to need to mix water and sulfur trioxide. And to get sulfur trioxide, we're going to need to mix oxygen and sulfur dioxide. And I just heard an explosion, and that is terrifying. I think it was just a creeper doing creeper things. But it's always scary when you hear explosions. <laughs> So, I'm going to need to, yeah, I guess we're going to have to get a chemical reactor and a, was it crystallizer? Crystallizer? Yeah, I think crystallizer. And I'm probably just going to do it manually. This first one manually until I can get, uh... yeah, until we, we'll get... The machine structure we do get six from it so i'm just going to do this manually i think but man is that annoying that's annoying um but basically i'm just gonna craft up the um the machines and just use the same one over and over again so let me get a chemical reactor and a crystallizer built easy enough yeah, it's a bit more annoying. These electric motors are a bit annoying, but solenoids, we can replicate, which is pretty cool. All right, we are back, and I got both of the machines, and I'm not going to spend a ton of time on this, I think, um, because... It's kind of the same thing. We're doing the same thing over and over again. Um, we're just mixing different things with different chemicals. So I got a bunch of sulfur, pulverized some coal down, got some that way. We got some from the granite. So I think, I believe it is a one-to-one. -one. one fluorine, one fluorite, one sulfur. Through all the processes, we'll end up with one calcium sulfate. If I... I'm seeing the math correctly. We'll just speed that up a little bit. And obviously we don't have this set up in any way, shape or form to be automated. So I'm just, it's all gonna be very manual, fortunately, at this point. Now I do have, I crafted up a tank. We are getting oxygen over here. I think I am gonna need more oxygen, unfortunately, for that though. And I wish the nuclear craft machines would auto output. But what are you gonna do? We'll do that, and then chemical reactor. Do I have to? Maybe I can't. What? I... Yeah go and then we mix it with oxygen now we do need one bucket of oxygen per sulfur so yeah as we can see uh nowhere near enough um i need like 16 buckets of oxygen now i could speed this up by doing that <laughs> so there it's actually yeah it's constantly running, producing oxygen there. Actually, well, yeah. I th think... I totally don't remember. And these auto output, I feel like they... M yeah, they can. Output. There we go. It's running. 
So there's our sulfur dioxide. Then we're gonna take the sulfur dioxide out, put it back in, get the sulfur trioxide, mix it with some more oxygen. Then we're gonna mix it with water to get sulfuric acid. Can't remember where, I think I have the, I clicked the wrong one. I think the nuclear craft sulfuric acid. Yeah, that one's different. Now it's out of order though. Yeah, so we're gonna mix it with water, get the sulfuric acid, then mix that with the fluorite, which we got from, yeah, diorite. We got 22 of that. Uh, with that, we shall have calcium sulfate, which will be able to make the crystal binders, which will be able to make the elite platings and uh, iron shafts that does require quite a bit of iron. That's 36 iron. That's something. And then last not least, 40 blocks of redstone. Good thing I have had this going. So I'm gonna process all this. And I think with that, we'll get that gate unlocked and that's pretty much everything unlocked obviously except for the the tables and draconic stuff um, we're not there yet but uh yeah with that that kind of unlocks everything and uh we'll be able to start i'm um, probably i don't know what we will do i'll maybe start looking at the creative stuff that we need to start working towards um, we're going to have to get up into space at some point sooner than later, um, which is kind of why I want to unlock this. But I like just getting most of the all the gates um, done as much as possible. But uh, yeah, like I said, we'll look into that. So I'm going to continue working on this and I need to get more oxygen. We'll let this run a little bit and... Uh, yeah, next episode, um, we'll come back at that. And I think, I think before I want to get much farther, I am going to have to clean up the base because I have completely run out of room um, for most of this stuff. Um, I kind of underestimated the amount of multi-blocks that we were going to need. <laughs> As we can see, there's like a dozen multi-blocks all over the place. So we ran out of room pretty quick. Um, maybe, and I use all these. I don't use the block. Well, I have used that. Thermal centrifuge I don't really use. Duction furnace, those can like go, but like everything else, these can all go. But the majority of the stuff in the base, I actually still use. So yeah, I'm gonna have to kind of figure out what I want to do with that because we are definitely out of room. Anyway, that's going to be for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.